Hello, Rockrat Zero here, and today I'm coming to you with the puzzle on the screen, which is called Super Team Alpha, and it's by Brimster. Uh, I'm pretty excited for this one. It's a Brimster puzzle that he made over a year ago, but it's never been published anywhere. Um, I found this puzzle sitting in a testing channel, had about maybe four people have ever solved it. And um, I thought it looked cool, and I asked Brimster, and he said, yeah, it'd be great for me to give a shot uh, for a solve video here. And um, I'm not sure why it's called Super Team Alpha. Perhaps the lines and everything maybe look like a superhero logo. It uh, kind of reminds me of Titans Tower, or Teen Titans, um, or maybe Super Team Alpha, like Alpha Flight, the... I guess a Canadian Avengers type of team. Um, sticking with the superhero vibe, I'm going to keep my identity secret today and not do a face reveal. You can see my just my avatar off there on the side of the screen. Uh, I think that um, perhaps if I was on a superhero team, I would pick Wolverine. He was in Alpha Flight at one point. He's in sort of lots of different things, but I like Wolverine. I think that Brimster reminds me of Michael Chiklis's version of the thing from the, one of the Fantastic Four movies. Um, what kind of superhero or super team alpha would you imagine? Drop us a comment um, and let us know how you fare with this puzzle if you decide to give it a go, which I think is a great little puzzle. I actually solved this before. Uh, Brimster said he thought it was about a two and a half out of five stars um, on the testing channel, and I think that's I think that's accurate. It's a good approachable puzzle. The link should be pinned uh, below. Give it a shot. With that, um, I'll go over the rules really quickly and get started here. So we're going to do uh, the digits one through nine in each box, in each row, and in each column. That's just normal Sudoku rules. We have these pink lines in the grid, which are called Renban lines. And on a pink line, we have to put a set of consecutive non-repeating digits. So we could do one, two, three, but they don't have to be in order. We could also do something like um, three, one, two, just as long as overall they form a set of consecutive digits. Uh, they're all pretty short in this one, two or three cell lines. And so we're also helped by these killer cages. Digits in these cages must sum to the number in the top left corner in normal killer rules. Generally, we would also be told that we can't repeat in a cage, but since these are all um, linear cages, Sudoku takes care of that for us. And with that, let me restart my time, and let's give this a shot. Okay, so first thing I see is these Oops, these um, six cell cages can only be filled with either a 2, 4, or a 1, 5. And these 15 cell cages can only be filled in two ways. They're either 9, 6, or 7, 8. Um, so then we can look at the interactions between the cages and the rim band lines. Uh, so if this was a 1, this would need to be a 2, and that could be a 3. Uh, same if this was a 2, this could be a 3, 4, um, if this was a 4, this would need to be a 3 to connect to either a 5 or a 2 over here. I think this could be only a 3 or maybe a 6. If this was a 4 or 5, either way, this could be a 6. I think those are the only options, but if we look up here... That cell is, has to be high. So there's no way that this cell could be a 1 or a 2 and make it to 6 or 7. So this cell is never a 1 or a 2. It has to be a 4 or 5. That is not 4 or 5, which means now that this doesn't have any way to be a 6. Could it be anything else? No. If this is a 1 or a 2, this has to be a 3. If it was a 2, 4, 3, this can't be a 5 either. That's not a 5. That's not a 1. 
this is a for real. Let me just think about that. Yeah, I think that's all good. I'm just thinking about that for just a second. Yes. So this could still be a four or a two or a one. And this is a one or a two. Okay, so this is a four or five, which limits that cell now. There's no way that can be a nine. Can it be an eight? Uh, this the highest this can be is a five. So this can't be an eight either. So this could be if this was six, this could be five, or it could be four, because we could have six, four, five. If this was seven, this would need to be six to make that a five. Mm, okay, so this is limited to six, seven, which means that's not six, seven, it's eight or nine. All right. Nine. Okay, so if this is a nine, we have a problem. Yeah, let me do this. If this is a nine, then these two cells have to be eight and seven. It would have to be eight and seven. And what goes in this cell then? If that is a seven or eight, this has to be a seven or eight, but that's already a seven or eight. So this cannot be a nine. It has to be an eight. And that's going to fill all this in. That means that that has to be a seven to make 15. If that's a seven, what we saw, the only thing that can go here is a six with a five. That makes that a one, makes that a two, makes that a four, and takes eight out of there, and takes seven out of there, and all of a sudden we have a very cool start to the puzzle. Um, and this four can't go in any of those spots, so it's got to go there now. Um... Yeah, I remember that kind of start. Like I said, I did solve this once before. It's been a few days. Um, but I remembered that I needed to think very strongly about how these would interact to get started. From here, I'm not quite sure I remember much. So we'll see. Let's see. 2, 3, 9. Triple is going to take a 9 out of there, which takes a 6 out of there. Does that limit this cell more? So this could be a seven and we would have seven eight nine or it could be six or six seven eight can it be a nine could be a nine or eight nine seven okay all right i think that's all i see that we can do up here let's now go down into this row um And one thing to think about is that in every row, column, or box of a Sudoku, we're going to have the digits 1 through 9, which add up to 45. And these three cages together are all in the same row. And they add to 37, which means that these two, I'm going to make them a color to remember. Those two yellow cells add to eight. Okay. They add to eight. Not sure what. Um, but this, okay, this is, let's look at this first, I think. Maybe that's better. There's lots of ways to make eight. This cell can only be now a three or a five based on the min band, which means that this has to be a seven. Or nine. Okay, so that three five means that at least one of the ways to make eight is gone. So we can't do three five, but we could do one seven or two six. So if that would that has to add to eight, so it can't be three five because it would kill that cell. This is a little less limited. Um, I guess it could be five, seven, or nine. And that means this is 5, 7, or 3. And that, is that right? 
six, seven. Yes, that's right. So this is across here a three, five, seven, nine quad. And that means that this cannot be one seven. It's two six. And let's get rid of the coloring now. Because seven seven gets knocked out by the quad, which means we actually know what goes in here. Amazing. Um one eight and four. Does that add to 13? Yes, it does. Okay, great. And we can do better than that. Um, that's not a one. Whoops. Oops. What did I do? Wrong mode. That's not a one. That's not a four. That's not an eight. Okay, that's really, that's really nice. Now this one eight on a random band means if it's a one, that's a two three. If it's an eight, there would be more options, except there's a six right here. So this cannot be eight, seven, six, because we run into a clash with that. So it can't go all the way down from eight. So we have to have the nine if it's an eight. So this would be nine, seven. Okay, but this can't be nine, right? Because this is a 12 gauge. So that's not in, um, we would need one, two. If this was nine, if this was nine, we would need like a one, two, for instance, which would whoops, have to go like that, except for the fact that the one is already up here. So we'd have one in two different places. So that can't work. So that is not a nine. Sometimes I have to just put the digits in to visualize it. If that's not a nine, then that's not a seven. Okay. Okay, well, let's think more here about this. 237. Ah, 237. So a 12 cage and 3. There's lots of options using a 2, 3, or 7. Lots of I'm going to pull the killer calculator up. Okay, so it has to have a 2, 3, or 7, and it cannot have a 4, 8, or a 1. So it can't have a 1 in it. And it can't have an 8 in it. Oh, and it can't have a 4 in it. Yeah, I'm not super good at knowing all the different combinations. So there is that killer cage calculator that shows all the options. Um, and if we get rid of 4 and 1, then we actually are only left with one option. Of course we are. That's good. That's really nice setting. So the actually the two three seven is the only option left. That's very very nice because now that we have this two three seven triple, that takes that's going to take two three out of there. Meaning that has to be the nine. That's the eight. That's the seven. That's going to fix this entire cage with a four and a one. Takes nine out of there. We're left with, let's say, take 7 out of there, 7 out of there, a 5 and a 6 in those two spots, but there's a 5 there, so we can put, whoops, a 6 there, and a 5 there. Wow, that's very cool. Um, what next? Hmm. I feel like we should be able to do something more here. Maybe, maybe not. I don't see. Oh, I can see one thing about this cell. Yeah, that's good. Um, what happens if this is a seven? Uh, if that's a seven, this is has to be. Oh, it could be a six. Oh, I don't know. I thought I saw something there. I have to come back to it. I'm not sure. Let's do these. There's a four in the row, so there's only two ways that I can, or a four in the column right here. There's only two ways that I can fill this 12 now. It's a three, not a, um, a three, nine, or a five, seven. Um, and this has to connect with the RIN band to a 2, 3, so it can't be 7, 9. So that's only 3, 5, and that is not 3, 5. So what can this cell be? 2, 1? 
three, two, four, three. So if it's a two, this is either a one or four, can't connect to the five. If this is a three, it can go three, four, five. Uh, and the three can't connect with the three. It would have to be a three, four, five. So just one of four, then. Three. Yeah, I think so. It's just one, four. Okay. If it's a... Um, but I don't see how that fixes anything yet. Okay, what's this? It has all the options. So it can be three, nine... Five seven or eight four. But again, this has to connect with two three. So it cannot be eight or nine. Can it be seven? Can't be seven either. Yeah. So it has to be three four five. Um, that's seven eight nine. Now surely this has to interact with this up here somehow. How does it interact with this stuff down here? Seven eight nine, seven nine, five seven. Oh 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 oh. Okay, yeah. I see one thing. What happens if I make that a nine? If I make that a nine, that's an eight. Oops. If I make that a nine, that turns into an eight. That must be a seven. And what do we put here? This cell. Nothing. We put nothing in that cell. Um. So this is not seven, eight nine. Whoops. Sorry. I right, just go backwards. This cell cannot be a 9, is the point. And so that's a 5, 7, which makes that a 5, 7. And that does do something, because that's now a 5, 7, and it's going to look over here. And that makes this has to be a 3 now, and that has to be a 9. That 3 looks down and makes that a 5, makes that a 7. Um, if that's a 5 here, the only way that this rim band works is with a four and a three that makes this a two. Oh, keep going what else um take seven out of that cell and five out of that cell so this is a three four so if this is a two it can go one three or three two, three, four, but four doesn't work. Two, three, four. So that's a one, three, not totally resolved. Okay. Okay. What else can we do? Seven, eight, um, what else can we do? If this is a five, six, nine, seven, that's okay. If this is a seven, we get, um, Sorry, I had to pause real quick. Um, uh, this we were looking at this. If this is a seven, it could be a six, nine, and a seven. If this is a five. Wait, wait a second. How's this work? If this is a seven, that can be. That could not be eight seven. Let me put digits in here. If this is a seven, and we put an eight here, that would have to be a seven, and that won't work. Okay. So if it's a seven, it would have to be a six, nine, seven. And that's fine. If it's five, this also has to be a six. Nine. Seven. So, no matter what, okay, great. So no matter what, 
this cell is a 6, and that is a 9 and a 7. And that's right, and this makes a 5, 6 in a row, so we got a 5, 6, Oh, very sorry. Um, had to, my dog is bothering me. I had to pause twice now. Um, but we just solved this. This is a six, nine, seven, six, five. Okay, yeah. So that's good. Um, that's really good because that's going to look down here, make an eight, four, and then for this to be four, that's got to be three. Okay. Okay, what's next? Mm, these columns, maybe? Five, seven. I wish we could resolve that, but we'll have to figure it out later. Oh, it is resolved, actually. This five looks here. It is resolved. Seven, five. Excellent. Great, great, great. Wow. This is a really great puzzle. I mean, look, look at this. We've only got pencil marks in two cells that aren't in cages at all. Everything's just, I guess they're here too. Everything's just resolving very nicely. I guess that means we need to look at the last bits of clues. This cell can be uh, a one, two, three, four, five, six, Eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Yeah. And this one can be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, okay. Is there more? Is there more? One, six, eight, nine for those quads. This is not six or nine. That's not nine. This is not six. Mm, what about this quad? Is there more to be seen about this quad? One, two, three, seven. That's not seven. Oh, here we go. This is, well, this is not seven, but this one right here sees three, seven, and two. So that is a one. So. No one there, no one there, no one there. Oh, and look what just happened. We've got a two, three pair or a naked single seven here. Um, that's great. So that was the thing to do was to look at those quads. This column here had a lot of information for us. The seven now has to connect not with an eight, but with a six. Um, and so this is going to have to add to 10 to make the rest of the 16. It's either 3, 7. No, it's not 3, 7. So it's um, 1, 9, and it's not 4, 5. There's a 4, 5 there. So this is either um, pretty limited. It's 1, 9, or 2, 8. But it would have to be the nine here and the one here and it would have to be the two there in the whoops not two eight it'd have to be like that either eight two or nine one okay and did this do anything to the other column or is there anything else we can do with this this one can come out oops One, eight, nine, six, eight. Okay, let's think about this. Um, the nine, if it was nine, that would have to be an eight. If this was an eight, this would need to be a seven or a nine. And there's a seven looking at it there, a nine looking at it there, so that cannot be an eight. If it was a six, it would need a five, seven, and they're right there, so this cannot be a six. And if it's a 1, this has to be a 2. So that's very limited. It's just 2, 8. Okay. Mm. 
So <clears throat> I'm going to look at the killer calculator here. A 15, and we can't use a 9 or a 6. And we have to use a 2 or an 8. Um, so anything that doesn't have a 2 or an 8 in it, we can get rid of. So there are two options. Yeah, only two options. One of them is 3, 4, 8, which means there's an 8 there and a 3, 4 there. And that won't work. There's a 3 here and a 3 there. We actually can't have a 3 in here either. So if I get rid of the 3, that leaves me with one option. Only one, of course, everything, everything's working out like this. So uh, 2, 5, and 8. Um, so 2, 5, and 8 is the answer here. And there's a 5 in the box. That means there's that the 5 has to go there. And that makes this a 2, 8 pair. 5, 2, 8 pair. Um... It's going to leave a quad in the column. We had some success with quads before. Let's just, what is that quad? Let's go ahead and fill it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, not eight. One, three, four, seven. Well, this is not four or seven. That is not one or three. That is not four or three. And that is not three, four, or seven. Yeah, it did. We, we did that and it reveals a one, seven, four, three. Do that entire quad just by penciling it in. Um, and then we have a one, coming out of there. So this is a triple left in the box. Eight, nine, and five. We need a five, it goes right there. Eight, nine, oops. Okay, it goes right there. It gives me an eight, nine pair here. Um, leaves me with triple over here. It's a two, three, and four. Two, three, four. I don't see, oh, I do see. I how to do this because look here there's a four there coming across and a four here coming across those can't be four so we've got a four there by Sudoku that's going to take the four out of that cell and put it there for a four there's also a three here that I wasn't seeing so that's a two what's the two and a three that's all done um what's left here an eight and a uh, one, eight and one, um, eight and one. Don't see it yet. This is a two and an eight. Don't see that yet. Let's see that. Um, this is. A six, eight, nine. Just put that in. What's this cell? A lot of options. Too many options. One, eight, two, six. Oh, here. Here we go. This two that we just put in looks down, fixes the two. Oops. Fix two. Does that help? Does that help us? Two, two means I need a two across here. Somewhere in there is a two. It's not doing it. Okay. What is this? Um, two, three, eight, nine. So that's a two. Yeah, that helps. Okay, so this is two, three, eight, or nine. That's not two or three, so that is eight or nine. Whoops. That's eight, nine. That means this is two, three. And we can get rid of that. Um, so 
That means this is... Oh, and there's a 9 right here. So that is an 8. That's a 9. That's a 1. That 1 looks up, making that an 8 and a 1. Um, this is a 2-3, and it's resolved by this 3 there. So that's a 2. 2. 3, 2. Over here, this 8 looks over, making that a 1. That looks down, making that a 9. An 8, a 2. Uh, that 9 looks up to the top of the column, makes that an 8. And a 9. That 8 looks back down, making this a 6. What's left in the row is an 8. What do we need here? Uh, we'll do a 7. Two cells missing here, which is a 1 and a 6. So we can do those with the 6 over here. Two cells here missing. They are 9 and 5. And we can do them looking here at the 9 and 5. 9 and 5. Okay, uh, triples, triple time. We got 1, 2, 3, 4. We need a 5, 6, and 9. Um, so there's 6, 9 here, so that puts a 5. We need a 6 and a 9. There's a 6 there, so that's a 9. 6. Across here, we need a 2, 3, and 7. This is 2, 7 in this column. So that puts a 3 here. Um, let's, let's see. Takes three out of there, with three missing from there. This is actually done. Three here. That nine makes that a two. Makes that a nine. Makes this cell what's left a four. Two cells here. We need a one and a two. Yes. And then two more cells for the puzzle. We need a one, two, three, four, five. 7 goes right there, and an 8. And that, congratulations, Hero, on another successful mission. <laughs> well, thanks, thanks, Brimster. 31 minutes for me. Uh, probably, sorry, I had to make a pause in, in the middle, so maybe give me another minute back there, and we'll call it an even 30 um, to deal with the puppy at my feet. Um, thanks so much for that puzzle. Uh, really great puzzle. The way that these... Um, lines here. This whole interaction really um, was fun. It bounced back and forth and pretty much anywhere, yeah, bounced back and forth with these cages and the possibilities on the rim band lines. Very nice puzzle. Um, definitely a sort of coffee break puzzle that Brimster is looking for. Um, I'm glad I could get this out of the depths of the uh, testing channel. I'll stop talking. I hope you guys did a great job on that puzzle. Let us know in the comments how you did. Um, if you saw something that I missed, um, let, let me know so I know how to, how to do that better. And let us know what, what superhero team or what superhero do you think you would be. Uh, thanks a lot for the opportunity, Brimster, to bring you guys this puzzle. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as Brimster says, good luck with your solving.